Hello everyone, my name is Bailey and welcome to the beginning of an incredible journey. Let me tell you what we are going to be doing. For the next year, we are going to be diving into the world's most incredible book, the Bible, to learn about the greatest story ever told. Now, some of you might be thinking, wait, what story are you talking about? There are tons of great stories in the Bible. Well, you're right, sort of. The Bible is filled with a lot of great stories, but if you put all of those smaller stories together, it forms one big story. Think of it kind of like a puzzle piece. Each piece of a puzzle holds just one small part of the big picture, but when you put the puzzle pieces together, you get a whole different picture. It's kind of like that with the Bible. Stories about creation, Noah, David, even Jesus are smaller pieces of the story. But when you put all those stories together, it forms one big Bible story of God's wonderful love for us. Speaking of wonderful, this is our first week of an amazing new series called Wonder World. For the next four weeks, we are going to be taking a wonderful journey of the imagination through the beginning of the big Bible story. The really cool thing about using your imagination is that it's like making a movie in your own mind. You get to picture what things look like and sound like. That's what we're going to be doing right now. Today we are going to imagine what it was like to be there when God first created the world. But first, we have to get ready. Wherever you are, try to find a comfy place to lay down on the floor or on the couch and get your imaginations ready. In the Bible, Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. On day one, God spoke and said, Let there be light. God called the light day, and he called the darkness night. Imagine what the bright light looked like in the middle of all the darkness. How does it feel to your eyes? God looked at the light he had created and said, This is good. On day two, God spoke and separated the waters of the earth into the clouds and moisture of the sky above and into the waves of the ocean below. Can you see the water separating for the first time? Picture the sky above and the ocean waters below. God looked at what he created on day two and said, This is good. On day three, God spoke and said, Let dry ground appear. He made the land rise up from out of the ocean. He spoke again and created grass and flowers and trees on the land. Imagine what the land must have looked like as it rose up out of the sea. Picture yourself stepping on the ground for the first time in your bare feet. What do you think it would have felt like? God looked at what he had created on day three and said, This is good. On day four, God said, Let there be lights in the huge space of the sky. And so God created the sun to shine during the day, and he created the moon and stars to shine during the night. Picture yourself standing on the ground and looking up at the sky. What is it like seeing these lights in the sky for the first time? Imagine what the warm sun feels like on your skin. God looked at what he had created on day four and said, This is good. On day five, God spoke and said, Let the waters be filled with living things. Let birds fly above the earth across the huge space of sky. On the count of three, take a deep breath and hold it. One, two, three. <gasps> Picture yourself diving deep beneath the waters. What kind of fish do you see? Look around quickly before you run out of air. Now come back up and take a breath. God looked at what he had created on day five and said, This is good. On day six, God spoke and said, Let the land produce all kinds of living creatures. All kinds of wild animals filled the earth. Mammals, insects, reptiles. Look carefully. What kind of animals do you see? What are they doing? Imagine one of those animals walks up to you and lets you touch it. What does it feel like? God wasn't finished, though. He had saved the best for last. 
On that same day, God formed the first man out of the ground. He formed man in his own image to look just like God looks. Picture what it was like for God's hands to press and mold the dirt into the shape of a man. When God was finished shaping the man, he breathed the breath of life into him, and the man became a living person. His name was Adam. God looked at the man he had created on day six and said, This is very good. By day seven, God had finished all the work he had been doing, so he rested. Try to feel what it must have been like to rest from all that hard work. Take three deep breaths and let them out slowly. With every breath, try to relax your muscles so that it feels like you're melting into the floor. Isn't it cool to think that God was able to create all of those things with only his voice? But the coolest part is that God made us different than anything else. He wants to know us and he wants us to know him. He actually wants to have a relationship with us. And that is the most amazing part of this story. Think about this for a second. After each day of creation, God said, it is good. But when he finished creating people, he said, it is very good. Isn't that amazing? When God created us, he made us better than anything else. Let me show you what I mean. Take a close look at your fingerprint. Did you know that there are no two people in the world that have the same fingerprint? Now stick your tongue out and try to look at it. Sorry, you probably can't see it, but your tongue has prints on it too. And just like your fingerprints, no two tongues are the same. Touch the skin on your arm. I hope you're not too attached to it because in less than a month, it'll be all gone. Don't worry though, new skin will grow in to replace it. And how about your heartbeat? Can you feel it beating with your hand? Did you know that your heart beats over 100,000 times every day? And how about this? Feel your face. You have 60 muscles just in your face. Let me see you smile. It takes 17 muscles to smile. Now, let me see you frown. You are using 43 muscles right now just when you frown. Now grab your front tooth. Did you know that the tooth is the only part of the body that can't heal itself? Every other part of our bodies can heal itself when injured. Did you know about any of these amazing facts about your body? Have you ever noticed how interesting it is? We are not the only ones in awe of God's creation though. King David from the Bible was pretty impressed too. Let's take a look at what David said in the book of Psalms. Pause the video so you can go and get your Bible and look it up for yourself. Psalms 139 verse 14. How you made me is amazing and wonderful. I praise you for that. What you have done is wonderful. I know that very well. Psalm 139, verse 14. When King David thought about how wonderfully God had made him, he couldn't help but want to praise God. God created us in an amazing way. He created us so that we could have a relationship with him. And when we really think about it, we can't help but want to praise him. Pretty amazing, isn't it? God made our bodies to be wonderfully complex. King David recognized that and it made him want to thank and praise God. But there's more. The creation story shows us not only did God make us wonderfully complex, but he made us in a special way to have a special relationship with him. God formed us with his own hands. He breathed life into us with his own breath. The Bible says that God walked and talked with Adam. God had a special relationship with people. How amazing is that? God actually wants to know us and he wants us to know him. The creator of the entire universe loves us and wants to spend time with us. I think we should pray and thank him for that. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for creating us in this amazing universe we live in. Thank you for wanting to spend time with us and have a relationship with us. Amen. Thanks for joining us this week. See you next time.